Flex here with another video for you guys today. Today I'm just going to do like a small mukbang. Y'all can also request places that you want me to go. Um, but today I made my mom and I made some egg rolls and I made some white rice. And I already ate one egg roll because I was going to do Xbox. I'm um, Xbox. I was doing a Facebook live, but I decided, hey, everybody's my friend's been wanting me to do a mukbang so here you go these are what the egg rolls look like and everybody knows what white rice looks like okay so um while that is going i'm going to tell you how me and alex's day was and alex can like say a story or something like that whatever tell a story? yeah tell a story Okay, what kind of story? I don't know. Pick one. That's interesting. I have a lot. Can you just pick from one? I don't remember, so. I got bad memory, so. Just name one. I don't. Off the top, off the top of your head, just name one. No. Well, then I guess I'm not telling a story. You know what kind of story to tell, so just say one. No, I don't. I need ideas. Because I have a lot. So I just need you to say, like... One off the top of your head. The most funniest thing happened to you. The most funniest thing. Okay. So. I'm trying to think. Fine. We'll change it. When you get get got kicked out of class. Oh. <laughs> That's not easy. So. I was in sixth grade. In math class. It was almost the end of the day. Oh no no. Yeah. Oh, can you hurry up and tell us what? And then my teacher, I was talking to my friend because the teacher gave us work, obviously. And then the teacher's like, Alexander, you have to leave the class. And I was like, why? He was like, because you're talking. I was like, you gave us group work. What do you expect me to do? Just sit here and just talk to myself? It's group work. Yeah. So he sent me out of the class. He told me to go to his wife's class. And I didn't want to go there because they were like 8th graders. I'm like 8th graders. So I went to another classroom. And I just stayed there. Till like the class period was over. No, no. Till I finished my work and then I went back. And then I just, he told me to leave again. So I just left. I didn't like the teacher. Okay, so in a little cup like this we have some sweet and sour sauce. And in some shot glasses, we have some soy sauce. This, I know it's a lot. It looks like a lot. It's a wide cup, so. I have a measurement one. My little measurement one. And we had like a little bit of meat left, so I made somewhat of like a... Uh, dumpling looking thing whatever you want to call it um I think I've only got kicked no I didn't get kicked out of class I left class um my teacher wouldn't let me go to the restroom but she would let everybody else go to the restroom I said miss it's an emergency I need to go to the restroom it's lady problems I, I said it like that even though it wasn't so that I can go to the restroom I had to go really bad because at lunch, this this is a class after lunch. So when I go to lunch, I drink a big thing of water and milk, what I get for lunch. I was like, miss, I have to go to the restroom. She's like, there's like five people in front of you. Yeah, you let them go in front of me. I've asked since we walked into class. She's like, well, if you don't like it, you can just walk out. I said, okay then, bye. I remember, okay, tell your first story of when you got detention. First time getting detention. Oh, girl, I've got detention more than one. Me too, but just try to remember your first time getting detention. My first, okay, I remember it. My first time getting detention was at Burnett Middle School. Go Sailors, ha. Um, 
me and my friend didn't really want to go to one of our classes so I said she said let's skip let's skip and of course you skipped and of course we skipped oh, I got something in my eye I just remembered a funny story <laughs> and so we went into the restroom and stood on top of the toilet with the seat down though I am we the we had an officer lady that went around in the, all the girls' room restrooms to see if there was anybody hiding. Cause a man off a man officer is not gonna go into a lady's restroom. So and she saw there were two doors that were locked. Nobody was in there. And she looked. She was a tall officer, so when she stepped on her tippy toe, she can see <laughs> over the the stall. And she's like, what are you two doing, Cruz? What are you doing, Cruz? What are you doing, Alamon? Uh, she's like, uh, nothing. She's like, come on, we're going to, to ISS. I was like, okay. I don't have to go to none of my classes for the rest of the day. So we went there. And, uh, what's it call it? We were... The ISS teacher was pretty cool. Uh, we didn't have to do none of our work if you didn't want to. So I didn't do none of my work, of course. And when at the end of the day was, they're like, Cruz, how come you didn't do any of your work? Uh, I didn't know I had to. <laughs> and then, yeah, at that school, I've been to ISS like 21 times. <laughs> For skipping and then one of them for I don't even know why and then when I went to Westview which was is still in Austin um, I went to a detention I went to ISS and then I went to detention I don't till this day I still don't know why I went I'm they didn't mind. tell me and my uncle He's like, why is my niece an ISS? Why did she stay after school in detention? She didn't do nothing wrong. She, and they never contacted him back. So I guess they just wanted me in there because they wanted me in there. They didn't have anybody else to put in there. <laughs> I remember my first But time. that ISS teacher was so cool. If you were, if everybody was good, she would have gone to the McDonald's across the street to get y'all food. And I was like, yes, McDonald's, yes, not this crappy ass Sack lunch. Sack lunch that they give you. They give you two pieces of bread with a ham. slice of ham and some che cold cheese. And, um, <laughs> what? They give you a fruit and a milk. That's it. What kind of lunch is that? We're not animals. It's because you're in trouble. You're an ISS. So that doesn't mean I got to eat like that. They give, you the, they give me that at OC. I was like, uh, no. And I crumpled that up and I threw it in the trash. The only thing I kept was the fruit and the milk. I remember my first time we went to ISS. But the dude messed, one of the guys messed it up. So they, uh, he started talking. She's like, uh, no McDonald's. I was like, are you serious? We were about to get a good lunch and this little crappy four-eyed foo. My bad, Alex. <laughs> You're four-eyed too. Okay. Uh, this four-eyed, well, that's back then when I didn't really need glasses. I still don't need glasses. It's only when I drive. Um. I was like, boo, you messed it up for all of us. We're going to get something good. Now you got to get that cold piece of bread with that cold piece of meat with the cheese. I'm like, I ain't eating that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I remember my first time being in ISS. And Miss Morgan came in there. Miss mm. And Miss Morgan came in there. And she saw me in there. She already knew who I was. She's like, Cruz, what are you doing in here? I was like, uh... What are you doing in here, Cruz? Why are you in here? The teacher kicked me out of class. And she's like, are you doing your work? I was like, yes. And she's like, okay, come here. I'm going to help you. I was like, all right. And, like, so I sat there at the table with her. And she was just give, gone giving me snacks. Like, she would give us snacks and I said so. And it was funny because, like, we would just be in there because we were in trouble. And she would give us snacks. Miss Morgan, if y'all ever went to Westview, and you know Miss Morgan, and you've either had her in a class or had her in ISS, she's that type of person that loves to bring snacks. 
And if she sees you there bored and stuff, she's like, you want some of this? You want to try this? You want some of this? And I was like, okay, I want some. So she gave us some. And she, she's that type of person that and you're in trouble, she's not going to treat you like that. She's not going to treat you horrible or anything like that. She's going to, you know, treat you like a regular student that she does. She's like a really loving person, so. She's really sweet. Yeah. I love you, Miss Morgan. Like, when, okay, when we got in trouble, that's when she would be mad and tell us, like, what to do and what not to do. And then, like, that whole speech. And she would get us back on track of what we were supposed to do. So, like, in eighth grade, when I went to eighth grade there, I was you. I got her as, like, one of my teacher helpers, like, whatever you call them. Like, or, I don't know. If but, you have, like, dyslexia or any, like, learning disability, in yeah. every class you have another teacher that's there helping you whenever you need help. Okay. That's what me and Alex have. So I got her in history. And what I needed, she knew me because she knew Alexis. Yeah. And then, like, she would help me all the time. She would help other kids that needed help, too. She'll ask you, make sure. Do you need any help? Are you okay? Do you have any questions? Always ask. Them. Are you on the track? Ask questions. Always ask them. It's not, not, everybody's not going to get mad at you because you stopped the learning. Everybody's got to learn at some point. Everyone needs help at some point. Yeah. And, like, me and Alex, we're, like, slow learners. So, I ask, I ask a lot of questions sometimes. But in math, I don't really. I don't know why. I really hate, I hate math so bad. But I get hundreds in there. I don't know how. But, um... I'm trying to hurry up and finish because I don't want to make this video too long. So, this is what I've accomplished so far. Mm. Some white rice and my little dumpling thingy or whatever. And Alex has accomplished some rice and she still has an egg roll left. I don't want to make the thing too long. So, uh, yeah, but... um. If you have that learning disability or anything, don't let that stop you from being who you want to be when you get older, you know? Um, embrace your flaws. And some of them flaws actually help you in life. Because when you do have a special, um, um, like a learning disability, they give you more options than they do students that don't need it. Like when me and Alex get star tests, we have an ability to either take it on paper with all the little math stuff, a calculator and stuff, and um, the charts and everything. Yeah, the charts and everything, and then they also let you have a choice to do it on the computer, and it reads to you when you do your um, your star test. When you do your reading and writing, it reads to you. Oh no, no, not the reading part. You have to read that by yourself. No, for me it read to me. It didn't. Do Oh, well, then it must have well, been different. Well, to me, it read to me. So It must have been different because mine didn't. Don't read. be discouraged of all the disabilities or the flaws you have in life. Embrace them and become who you want to be. You, love yourself. Yeah, love yourself. You got to love yourself before you love anybody else. Um, so you got to make sure that, you know, embrace your flaws, be who you want to be, and don't let that stop you from... Uh, changing your life into something that you want it to be and um, yeah well I'll see you guys in my next video I don't want to make this video too long for you guys so I love you my loves and don't forget to comment like and subscribe so you won't miss another video like this and I will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.